to film. How are you doing? I'm feeling <coughs> more alive. I mean, nice. just, you, need to, you need to leave soon? How's your doing? How's your no, well, I mean, I don't have anything to do. Sit, sit, sit. Yeah. Well, so I would like to do, I'm recording now. Okay. I would like to do a like twisting I want score. To do a rock. Twisting score. Um, let me put my glasses on. So I have my glasses off as well, which means that we have our heads as a limb. <coughs> And so you get to see the head work. Head mm -hmm. head limb, you know. Well, I think, I think... I don't have to worry about it, you know? I think either if, if you want to, like, jump in and get involved, that's one side. But I think he wants to be a... Bro I want him to be a rock right now. And we can bounce onto him, but he doesn't move. He just stays there. He's part of the scene, but he's a stationary object. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> so I don't, to, I don't want to be dancing with him right now. I, want, I can dance on him, around him, but not with him. Mm -hmm. I want no action from you. I just want to focus on you. Okay, then maybe it makes sense to have the frame clear. And this is the middle of the frame, right? Yes. Okay, we're both in the frame, right? Yes, we're both in the frame. That's but I, I think Where do you want to us be? demonstrating twisting is would be good. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. If you could sit by the light, I think that that makes more sense. Okay. I look forward to involving you in the future, though. Also. You essentially moved my rock farm. Well, I'm, I'm more confused about what you... I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it. I like it where you are right now. That feels so good in my sacrum. Mm. Okay, I'm, I'm searching her leg right now with my right leg. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I'm searching it. If I can get a hook on that leg, um, I can free in terms of connection with her. I can't lose her, she can't lose me. Mm -hmm. And now <laughs> I'm just enjoying the wait. And now I get the leg. <laughs> now I got the leg, okay? And I'm resisting her. <clears throat> and so since I'm resisting her, that, that means we're twisting. Yeah. That's an automatic twist. Right there. And I can accentuate it with my arm. And I love this position. This is so good. It can get in their ribs, under their arm. <laughs> you know, it's a comfy place for their leg usually. And no place they can go when you can't follow them. <laughs> for me, sometimes I feel like I'm playing a game with Jerry where yeah. we're both snakes. And I try to just, whenever I feel like I get pinned, I try to relax and also mm -hmm. like let my weight settle on him. So that I have to do no work to escape. I sort of just like let my own weight allow me to escape. And I like her relaxation because it, I have no idea where it's going to go. Because if she's relaxed, it goes in a natural way, not in a weird way. But it doesn't matter where it goes, even if it goes in a weird way. Because all ways are kind of fun. So I'm twisting into her. You're twisting into her right now. Now she's got the benefit of my weight. And her benefit. And I'm giving her weight in the pelvis. I'm twisting into her leg. I'm gonna do a lumbar twist myself. And I'm still firmly connected to her thigh and it's twisting now. Interesting. Wait. Oh, whoa. Oh. <laughs> we, do, we definitely go to the edge, yeah. Jerry. That's why we go slow. I yeah. prefer going slow because then you can, then you can really get. So this is a really cool position. I like this. Where I'm firmly connected to your leg still, and we get this. This. What is this? Is right here. You can give me some weight. <laughs> and see, I could, I could, I could let myself fall into the floor from here, or I could resist her and lift her up. <clears throat> ah. Whoa! Oof! That's an interesting grip. <laughs> She's got me in the grip. Yeah. A really interesting grip. I've never had this happen before. I'm like, oh my god, help me, Lord. <laughs> well, the anaconda meets, exactly. you know, the boa constrictor. Exactly. Right. 
I'm worried about the back of your Or the sea snake, maybe, is what I Yeah. Mean. Yeah. And we're good at keeping limbs that are in peril out of the way mm-hmm. when things are moving, yes. rather than allowing them to be crushed inadvertently by two by fours. <laughs> There goes my arm. Yeah, well. Oh, that's an, oh, that's really uh, my hip joint there. Well, oh. yeah, talk about sitting on people. Mm-hmm. There we go. So then there's a sit suddenly, right? And I'm moving into it, right? Mm-hmm. I'm moving my hips about my my hip ribs directly up into the pressure with a safety on her leg here in case it gets too yeah, much exactly. and I can push her away. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Tells you you're responsive when you're on top. It's very important. Yeah, it is. Like you're surfing the other person's body. Truly. So they're your wave, but at the same time you're, you want to be respectful. Oh yeah. Mm of your bar- person's boundaries and yeah. capacity to take weight. Yeah. She can mm-hmm. take lots mm-hmm. of weight, yeah. <laughs> which is fun for me. Because mm-hmm. then I can give it, which is great. Um, and then I can get it from her too. I can mm-hmm. get weight from her, which is essential for me mm-hmm. to do this work, to be able to have practice holding weight. Yeah. So my body is, you know, and then you kind of like, right now I'm sort of like almost hooking my outer hip bone into exactly. your hip bone. Exactly. You sort exactly. of We're doing ilium get work. into the groove and you almost like my pull it with is, your bone. My ilium is between her uh, ilium and, <laughs> and the head of her femur. So she's using my ilium now mm-hmm. as a body work tool. Mm-hmm. And I'm presenting it to her so that she can use it. Yeah, it's this. The, the ilium is another name for your hip, hip bone. Hip bone. The one that makes the mixing making bones easier. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The other bones there are the hip bones, which sometimes are useful. Well, lots of times are useful. And then the sacrum itself is useful. Graceful dismount? Yes. So I'm like, okay, sit on me. I don't care how you do it, just do it. You know, it's like, I want the way. I want the way. Mm-hmm. The way it trains my body at the core to be strong. That's nice. So she's twisting on me now. See that? And stretch. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I'm twisting back into her. <coughs> and I'm bearing the weight as well. It feels awesome. Now I'm exploring the territory rather than just holding one position. Mm-hmm. I, I move throughout the range of it. Yeah, this is a great example of directing the touch where you want it or the pressure where you want it as the person receiving more weight. You can. Once they've figured out that I want them to balance on me and give me weight and give me the weight, then I want them to relax on top of me. Mm. The way I get them to relax on top of me is by giving them a little, little wiggle. And then they learn that they have to relax with that, not tighten up against that. And then I get them to relax, and then I get to relax, and they relax. So here we've discovered something, which is classic sacral, lumbar, Mm -hmm. twist, stretch. I'm getting the pressure, she's getting the twist and the uh, stretch, and I'm getting the pressure and the twist, (sighs) not the stretch. I'm getting the pressure. Mm. and the twist, which is different than stretching. Um, when you twist it, um, everything happens at once. Almost either way, twisting left or twisting right. You're stretching everything. There's a difference left to right, but really not. It's kind of an esoteric thing. It just depends on your perspective. Which way it goes clockwise or counterclockwise. Sound is surround. Mm-hmm. Okay, now I'm going to do a, I'm going to save my right hip from undue stress move. Mm-hmm. So my right hip has been holding all this, so now I'm going to give a little signal here. Now I'm going to switch. And in between the switch we get this, which is nice. I'm like, she can give me pressure any way she wants. 
Um, I'll take it. Go into the full hip of it. Now this is my hip that hurts. This is the one that is hurting. So I'm protecting it. <coughs> and a great way to start with pressure is pressure from the chest. Mm -hmm. um, and you can then escalate it to the hips if the person wants more weight, but the chest is a really good place yeah. to start. It's really the center of the work. It's outside the, the center place. of the work is in the chest, mm -hmm. yeah. which is the heart, yeah. which is the center of the work. Yeah. It's nice to go there straight away. Right. Mm -hmm. It's really kind of necessary in some respects to me. Sorry, see a banger in the head? <laughs> And I said, I'm sorry. Are you Jerry okay? is a little fumbly, it's true. And you, you, the reason for that is I go into a fumbly mode where I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when I don't know, cool things happen. And we're not going to kill each other. I, I you know, I'm pretty good. I didn't, didn't hurt. I just barely hit her with my elbow. But now that I go there, I should have known. But She's short, so it's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's right. I haven't danced with you a long time. Oh, he's so. shifting the so blame how around. How I know where your hand could be. Shifting the blame around. Uh, this is one of my favorite moves with people. When they're, when they're face down, is I just grab them and twist them over. See, it's a twist. You both look at ease. But it's a twist mm -hmm. that happens. Nice. It's not a lift. It's a. It's some kind of a a worm move that is efficient over all of creation. And another thing that you can do is when you're applying pressure, careful to a certain point on someone. Careful. You can have them. That's good. Now, right there. You can have them rotate <laughs> their their limbs mm -hmm. and uh, go deeper into it. Yeah, yeah. That's nice for the chest and the thoracic. There's definitely a crossover between the yeah. yoga class and the chicken. Yes. Mm. Mm, that's awesome. Go higher, go higher, go higher. Right there. It's also mm, good to have a, lower. a shared vocabulary, so mm -hmm. higher and lower, lower, like, lower as head and tail, lower, and lower, just lower. knowing that. Okay, Sometimes so it gets okay, confusing okay, okay, okay. when you're upside down and yeah. Oh, yeah. front and back, and and uh, mm -hmm. it's helped. I I found it helpful to go head and tail, and then extremities and towards center. Mm -hmm. I find mm -hmm. a really good orientation phrases. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Less and more pressure. I'm searching for you mm -hmm. now, right? I don't know where you are. Okay, there you are. Now I'm getting lots of great pressure and expansion from her and my hips and sacrum. Um, and I'm wondering if she wants the same for me. Sure. <laughs> Well, we'll transist to that in a minute, then, maybe. But I can't resist your <laughs> chest in this position. And... Uh-oh. <laughs> who's gonna, who's gonna come out on top? This is a twist thingy we have some <laughs> Squeeze her as hard as I can. And this is where I go limp and like, if I don't like it, I just let my weight go and then I go to the ground right. and I escape easily. <clears throat> and I don't think of her as ever escaping. Mm -hmm. She's whatever within my grasp, it seems constantly returning. 
Untrue. <laughs> untrue. That's the whole point, is like. So that it repeats. And then when you find when you find yourself you, you feel trapped, you you can decide to relax. Yeah. And or that or is you. actually what ends up freeing you. Uh huh. Uh -huh. I find. Yeah. It happens very often. Mm -hmm. Probably always, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because then the other person can't that's, hold on. That's the shamanic way. Mm -hmm. So you meld with the energy, right. mm -hmm. and then in the melding, you redirect it to exactly. where you want it to mm -hmm. be. You go into rapport, and then you <clears throat> spontaneously leave because mm -hmm. they've they've been hypnotized by you. They've been one with you. Hypnotized. Hypnotized. You become one with them. You become one with them for a second. You know? Yes, it's true. And then you then you leave. Mm -hmm. Then they forget. Mm -hmm. They trust through the body. Yes, exactly. I'm just looking for a grip here, something to hang on to. <laughs> Which then provides a leverage in itself. And it's always great to just stop wherever you are. <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> yeah. And just hang out wherever that is. Just because it's nice to... <sighs> Slow down and feel the expansion. Mm -hmm. So the theme basically often is one hip underneath the other, which can support the weight of the hip, other hip. And then that person gets levitated to the fact, to the point of the fact that their hips are levitated. Yeah. So they become levitated. Mm -hmm. And I'm levitating those hips now. And so in a second, she's going to fly. Now she's flying. Mm -hmm. See? She's levitated and she's flying. You don't have no place to fall either, right? Not really, no. No. But you can fly now. Remember those lifts that those um, contact improv dancers used to do when they'd get up their shoulders and they'd be up in the air like that? Mm -hmm. Well, this is the same thing. The only difference is you have less distance to fall. Yes. That's it. <laughs> it's more fun and safer. <laughs> you don't have to practice so much. Mm hmm See, I'm connecting with her, her leg just to know where it is. Not necessarily to direct it, but sometimes I direct it. But usually I just want to know where the body is, that's all. <laughs> okay, we might be at time. I'm going to check. Mm. 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 Ooh. 